this is uh, the third try you should be hearing me you should be hearing my voice you should be seeing me and I'm just gonna quickly check in YouTube studio that I am indeed live and it looks like I am so welcome in everybody let's make the chat a big a bit bigger so it actually covers OBS like this I'm so professional like a totally professional youtuber and um, welcome in if you're just joining in and you are because I just started write some comments in the chat so I'll start answering some questions and stuff like that I had some free time so I thought let's give it a shot you don't have my green screen yeah the audio works now nice I don't have the green screen because I was too bored to actually go set it up so I just got in my room this is just my my room usually I'm slightly slightly more professional but not today hello everyone welcome welcome so uh, what do you want to talk about try bringing up some topics I can safely say that Kitty Plasma 5.25, uh, 5 which is going to be released in a couple of months, it's the next Plasma release is going to be like, in my opinion, one of the best Plasma releases. I'm, I'm so excited. Why is the KD phone integration when you have more phones so crazy to scroll? That is so specific. What do you, to scroll, like visually? You gotta send me a screenshot or something. I actually never tried the phone integration with multiple phones, so I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how it looks like actually. The 15 minutes bugs are already rectified, but why is it going so slowly? Are they major bugs? Uh, it's a difficult one, this one. So the 15 minutes bug initiative is pretty cool, but at the same time, we need to realize that it has some limitations. It is identifying some bugs and saying, okay, these are important bugs, but keep in mind that nobody's actually getting paid to work on those bugs specifically. So it's more of a, hey, developers, it would be really nice of you if you worked on these bugs. Like I went through the list, I didn't find anything that I could help out with. And most of the times it is, uh, some of the bugs are pretty hard to fix. Some of the bugs are um, there from a long time ago. And that means that, you know, if it was easy to fix, it would have it would have been fixed already. So it, it's more the only the fact that there are fifteen minutes back doesn't mean that a lot of there's there's a lot of more attention to them. There's some attention compared to before, which is nice, but it's not magic. So. Keep in mind that um, I mainly work on KD Plasma desktop. I'm mostly working on uh, the panel. I also work with Plasma themes, stuff like that. So that if you want to get technical, that's what you should be asking about because that's what I know. Otherwise, you, I mean, just more broadly, about KDE as a whole. I know a lot of stuff about that. And it's actually pretty interesting to discover a bit how KDE works from the inside. The camera is good. Yeah, I think it's fine. Which is why I have no idea about this case start five plasma shell not working when an FC mount is unavailable. Let's hover head over quickly KD Invent. Uh, my name is Nicolov, I think. 
and the password should be this one yes so what I usually do is check out my to-do list which today is empty luckily I've done my homework and it's usually patches about the stuff that happens in KDE that requires our attention as an example here I was directly pinged to check out this patch which is the slide effect uh, one that I even posted about on Twitter it's a one-to-one -one just source to switch between desktops this patch is awesome I also have these merge requests that are the ones that I'm working on this is the panel containment refactoring which should be ready to review let's actually uh, write something um, I don't know who should I ping to review this maybe a generic um, pretty for review let's do it like that the reviews to be a label but I don't find it yeah then what else do I have in store so the floating panel the floating dialogues which looks super cool I mean just look at here floating dialogues so cool and finally this small icon change to make the KDE connect icon consistent which was created one year ago yeah KDE has totally come a long way and I gotta say that it keeps on improving at an amazing pace I'm super happy with how it's going and lately it's better than ever really let's also give a look to the 15 minutes back since there has been pointed um, brought up let's give it a look this is currently list of bugs so usually what I work on is the panel and if we search for panel we've got it's very easy to dr drag uh, task manager entries into another part of the panel creating an icon launcher yeah in general it's this whole idea of having both a task manager and an icon launcher is tough to actually manage I don't like it and it's something that I would eventually want to work on but with little to no time it's you know a bit hard to, to find the time to try to address these kind of things plasma must be restarted for cursor size changes to happen yeah no clue what that could be caused by next app to be open disappears after the icons only task manager fills with app icons yeah this one I should probably try to fix eventually it's so weird because the task manager actually at a certain point goes to another level which is underneath the screen and that looks weird do you know about issues with the overview effect regarding the, de the deletion 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 of workspaces when I delete a workspace the panel lose track of which workspace I'm on actually no and I haven't seen it reported reported in bugs.kd.org let's give it a look uh, there should be a component let's do browse and should be Queen, I guess. Queen something. And uh, where is it? Effects overview. These are all of the bugs about the overview. More than I thought. thought. Okay. So you say deleting workspaces. Let's see. No, I don't see anything like that. So you should probably add a, open up a new bug. Yep. 
it's too easy to accidentally delete virtual desktops, fair enough. I thought there was less bugs, it's actually a lot. Oh, I'll try to work on some if I have the time to. Can you use KD Neon as your daily driver? The answer is yes. Should you? Because it, it works, it totally works and you can do it. My girlfriend, as an example, she doesn't know much about Linux, but she used KD Neon. However, keep in mind that it's the very latest bleeding edge, so there is instability to some extent. If you are some like random user, maybe Kubuntu is better. But it's up to you to decide, and if you choose KD Neon, I think you'll be happy with it. Did you hear about the Asahi Linux project using KD Plasma? Yeah, I actually saw a video about this, which is pretty cool. Let me open it up. Um, from TechCut, you've got the MacBook M1 running KD Plasma on it natively, which looks so cool. I mean, just look at this. Go check out the video, it's pretty cool. Explains how, how you actually do it. I'm happy to see KD Plasma in more places. And every time like there's the KD Plasma background, even with the Steam Deck, I'm super happy to know that KD Plasma is on the Steam Deck, so. Would adding blur to GTK themes be a possibility, possibi would be possible, sorry, to add to KDE? Like the blur uh, me extension in GNOME. So the blur me extension in GNOME, let me check out this extension. Let me see. What does the blur me extension do? Ah, it just blurs behind windows. Well, you can do that already. You need to use the Kwin force blur effect. So you, you, well, it won't work out of the box on all JTK apps, but if you know what JTK, JTK apps you use, you can uh, apply blur on those apps using the Kwin force blur effect. And that should look pretty good. Probably, sadly, it won't have uh, rounded corners. The blur won't have rounded corners, but it would be quite hard to implement an option to do that within the JTK theme because that's not where it should be. So for now, that's you're gonna live with this bug. But I mean, you can do that already. A developer of Asahi Linux, Markan, uses Plasma. Yes, and I, I've seen that he streams on YouTube. I haven't uh, followed streams, but I think it's a very nice thing when people streams their work on YouTube. That's how I started, and I think it actually helps other people understand what's going on. Let's close this one down. Let's also give a look to this kitty. Let's open up Plasma Desktop. What's going on in merge requests? So, there, there is merge factor, obviously. There is a rewrite of the window list, interesting. Okay, so this is the window list, and okay, it's rewritten. I, I had seen this patch, yes. What else do we have going on? Only make opaque if panel is explicitly, no, no, th stop, not this. I hadn't seen this one, this one looks wrong. Maybe I had, ah yes, big minus one for me. Okay, so I had already minus one, this one, okay, fine. I already, ex I already expressed my disappointment in that merge request. Here, add an option to set accent color from the wallpaper. You're gonna like this one. 
This is an idea to bring the accent color automatically fetching from the wallpaper. And the thing that it's actually pretty hard to implement, as you can see from the super long discussion about this. And let me give a look to the chat as well. Ciao. Ciao. Opinion on KD naming convention, do you prefer them or you'd be more happy with the generic file manager? Now, personally, I prefer names like um, Kate being the text editor. I do prefer Kate over text editor because uh, the name should be unique and file manager is the description. And if you open up like kickoff, you're going to see the name and then on the right, the description. If you call Kate text editor, then it's going to be text editor, which is a text editor that's going to look weird. The name should be unique. Personally, I do prefer the current naming scheme where maybe it, it, the names are about what uh, the app is used for, but are not like the description. Pretty funny that it does kernel development in Kate. It really speaks to the power of that app. Kate is awesome. I, I just don't think that some people realize how awesome Kate is. I've received some comments saying like, you know, you, you do actually development in Kate? And yes, I do. What else? I, Kate is beautiful, it's super lightweight, and it just works. Like, I love Kate. Hello, everyone. You are using apps that are not native to Linux because a lot of apps I use are installed with Wine. No, actually, I think I use none. Uh, if I use Wine, it's for a couple of video games but I don't play video games that much anymore. So everything I use is pretty much Linux native, yeah, right now. An MR to set colors for lib at Waita. You gotta ask Janet this. I have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> I'm using Ansible to manage my machine. I could hardly find any documentation on programmatic configuration of KD Plasma online. You mean like doing a script that changes uh, the configuration? Uh, yeah, if I remember, remember correctly, there is not much documentation about this. Let me think if there's anything, uh, because I know of some tricks, but mm, I don't know of a good documentation that talks about them throughoutly. My su suggestion would be to select uh, the list of things you need to do and then try asking in the probably KDE development chat where most people probably know about some of them. Uh, maybe they also know about our doc documentation, but as far as I'm aware, I don't know of any. Kate Dolphin is fine. K Calc is, yeah, I would have, I would have preferred another name, but I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's not the name that's going to be an issue for an application. What music player do you use? Okay, you're gonna not like this one. I use YouTube Music because I pay for YouTube Premium and YouTube Premium gives me free, not, me, not free, I pay for it, gives me YouTube Music, so that's just what I use. Why don't you customize GNOME as you would KDE? I, I do customize GNOME. I, I did customize GNOME. Th this is not the default GNOME. I do have my extensions here. And uh, it's a bunch of stuff like, it's 
okay, it's not a complete redesign of what GNOME is, but it is customized. I also customize KD Plasma. I probably customize more KD Plasma because I can, but with GNOME like this, it's fine. I did customize it. Are there any plans to allow the user to rearrange workspaces in the overview? Uh, let's address this question slightly more um, in a from a general point of view. So whenever you ask, are there any plans to, w what are you actually asking for? So you are you asking, is somebody working on this? If that's the case, then no, no, 